Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. In today's video, we are going to be opening up some epic old school Yu-Gi-Oh! Special Editions, including, but not limited to, this Raging Battle Special Edition. Awesome, have to have the uh, sneak peek mat out here to match it. Next up, this awesome Samurai Asp Assault Special Edition, and this guy comes with GX and 5Ds packs, but we're here in particular for this Strike of Neos packs, which we have another one here. Along with those epic special editions, we're gonna be opening up my favorite special edition, X Saber Power Up. You guys know all about the X Saber Power Ups, and they are super special because most of these guys have these first edition Stardust Overdrive packs in there. We're also gonna be opening up the Ancient Prophecy packs for my guy Toe and Fosho. Finishing it up with the GX special editions Twilight Edition Light and Dark. You guys know all about these, of course. You've seen them in the Battle vs. Ruxin 34, Tactical Evolution, Light of Destruction, and Phantom Darkness. Absolutely epic special edition. Along with those, we're also going to be opening up a Force of the Breaker special edition. It, it might not look like it, but it is a special edition. Uh, it is in blister form. This guy comes with two Force of the Breaker retail packs and one IOC pack. This is the original uh, original reprint, I guess you'd call it. Those are EN packs, so that's pretty cool. We're not gonna be opening up that in this video today. We're just gonna be opening up the Force of the Breaker packs, but retail set still really awesome because has cards like Ultimate Rare Harpy Queen and Crystal Beast Topaz Tiger. So really cool, excited to open that bad boy up. But along with that, this one definitely is not a special edition. We're also gonna be opening up a great value, Utopia value box. And this guy comes with some awesome 5Ds packs, absolute power force. This guy, unfortunately, we didn't get lucky, isn't a first edition. Shining Darkness, though, is a first edition, along with Hidden Arsenal 2 and, uh. <clears throat> sorry, and of course, Star Strike Blast. But before we get started, uh, of course, there's going to be a little bit of a giveaway, but with that, there's also going to be a little bit of an announcement, so stay tuned for that. Your giveaway today is a Stardust Dragon Ultra Rare, Assault Mode, XX Saber, Fulham Knight, and a couple of Raging Battle Special Edition promo packs. All you have to do, leave a like, subscribe, and comment. What's your favorite set that we're opening up today? But the little announcement today with this video is something pretty epic. So. I have with me, as you can see, Kaiba's metal briefcase. We only ever bust out Kaiba's briefcase if it's something special. And today is a very special today because we have made our biggest sale of the career, biggest sale of Yugi Mo's career, and that is this guy you're looking at right here, a PSA Mint 9 Elemental Hero Chaos Neos Ghost Rare. And this guy is going to one of y'all, subscriber Paul, Paulie, shout out to you, buddy. It's actually his biggest Yu single Yu-Gi-Oh purchase uh, of his career as well, so it's a pretty big moment for both of us. I definitely had to uh, highlight it, showcase it on the channel. Uh, he actually mentioned that it was okay that I disclosed the price that he bought it for. Uh, so he bought it for $869 Canadian, uh, A. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's a kind of important there. It's Monopoly, Monopoly money, not US. <laughs> but that's before shipping. Uh, he also paid for shipping. So yeah, he said he was okay with me disclosing the price. So if any of you guys are interested, that is what he paid for it. Um, this guy I picked up way back in the day after actually I pulled the PSA 10 Chaos Neos that you see right there. Uh, and I picked this guy up just because I realized I was like, Chaos Neos is not worth, I think it was like a, worth $100 Canadian at the time. I was like, it is way too underrated. I had to pick one up and uh, get it graded because I actually found this from Sunny, Sunny Hobbies. So make sure you guys check him out. Picked this one up off of him and it got a mint nine. So now this is going over to Polly. Very excited to make this sale. Um, very happy. It's going to a collector, somebody who is going to enjoy it very much so. So there you go, my friend, your uh, Elemental Hero Chaos Neos. It has this like misprint bubble line on the ghost rare. I don't know if you saw that, but I, I've, I've had this up for quite some time um, and I've had a lot of people interested in it, but little tip, especially for like the old school cards, uh, the high value cards like this, I've had a lot of people interested, but just like a little bit off. I had them like $50 or $100 off with the old school cards, like old school collectible cards, especially the, uh, the graded cards that I have. I'm a little bit less reluctant. I usually don't 
uh, make a deal at all. I usually am pretty firm on the price. And uh, if you guys are ever interested in any card, not even if you're just buying off me, I always suggest, especially the older collectibles, I always suggest just go after it. Even if the asking price is like a little bit higher than uh, than, you're, than you want at the time, it's always it always ends up, especially with the older TCG stuff, You've seen it. The prices shoot up later, and you'll end up regret regretting it. Uh, I've done it a couple times myself. So, yeah, little little tidbit, little tip of information if ever buying off a Yu Gi Oh! But I mention it because one way you guys can support me is doing that buying cards off of me, buying any of the sealed product that I have up for sale. I do have a ton of it, as you can see. A great way to support your boy. Along with just watching the videos like you guys are doing right now, I do really appreciate it. Thank you guys for all of the support. It's the best way you guys could really support me. But if you guys are ever interested in anything that I do have up for sale, uh, just hit me up on Instagram. It's definitely the best way to get in touch with me. If you contact me on Instagram and if I uh, make the sale to you through PayPal, through friends and family, we can avoid things like eBay fees. You end up getting the card for less and we're all happy. So you guys can trust me. I'm not going anywhere. I do only suggest that you do that. Uh, make private sales and things like that. Buy cards, uh, especially if you're spending a ton of money. Only do that with somebody you truly trust. Uh, and always check for references or anything like that when buying from people online. Now, the fun part. Now we can jump into the opening. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, I actually started this recording already and opened up the Ancient Prophecy packs. I don't know what happened with my new phone, but it like updated in the middle of the video. I went to check if the video had saved and it didn't. So I figured, oh, okay, I gotta start over again. But just before I started this video, Unfortunately, after I deleted the face cam footage for it, I found that the video actually had saved. So it was kind of weird. I guess it was like lagging. It didn't save because like the phone shut off or updated mid mid recording. I hope hopefully it doesn't do it again. But like you see, we did open up some ancient prophecy packs. These were gonna be for Toe and Fo Show, but since I didn't get them on camera or ended up deleting the video, uh, these ones obviously don't count. And good thing I saved him because as you can see. It is a couple more rares. I saved him from the roughness that it has been these Ancient Prophecy openings for him. He's opened over 100 so far. I think that these two will make it 126. And we're also going to be opening up some of those Ancient Prophecy packs in a pack battle. Versus the main man, Toe and Fo Show. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Subscribe to him if you haven't already. Here we go. So let's try this again. Not delete the video. Two Ancient Prophecy packs, and of course, the Stardust Overdrive pack, first edition pack, and we have the uh, the other one there from the previous recording. So we're gonna open up that one. But here we go, Ancient Prophecy, the sister of Power Tool Dragon. Can we pull something crazy for Toen? He deserves a Ghost Rare. Even though J my guy Josh has already pulled it. Rekindling, that's a pretty good, cool one. Yu-Gi-Oh! EXE, if you guys don't know about him. And a Saber Slash. Okay, so at least you got a hollow out of this one. <laughs> As you can see, previously I did not pull any hollows. Alright, next pack. Ancient Prophecy. Again, make sure you check out Toen's channel. And stay tuned for the uh, pack battle versus himself. Because there are going to be all of his own packs. The, the pack battle is going to be consisting of probably, I don't know, 20 Ancient Prophecy packs. All right, here we go. A major upset. Hopefully this pack isn't a major upset. I hate how that card's in this set. It makes it, it just makes me feel terrible. Fossil Dig, okay, it's a decent common. And Koaki Miru Tornado. Okay, so unfortunately nothing crazy has been uh, the par with Ancient Prophecy, but we did pull a hollow for you, Toen. Now, we are gonna be cracking open this Samurai Assault Special Edition to get out that. Strike a Neos pack. There we go. And you know what? I don't know. Should I open the Crimson Crisis pack? Yeah, you know what? I feel like opening the Crimson Crisis pack. I, I, don't, I don't know why. I just have a feeling. Usually, I was uh, saving some of these unlimited 5Ds packs to sell so t to sell to some of y'all. Again, if you're interested in any, let me know. That's where they come from. <laughs> Usually, they'll come from special editions like this, where I will, um, you know, open a, another pack or another set from the special edition and have these ones straggling by. But Crimson Crisis is actually one of the uh, early, I think it's only the third 5D set. So let's see, 
can we pull a Red Dragon Archfiend Assault Mode? Ah, Flip Flop Frog. Or no, wait a minute, is the Hollow after? No, doesn't matter. We didn't pull one anyways. Okay, so bad idea to open Crimson Crisis maybe. But Strike of Neos, we're going to save that for later. We're going to accumulate these packs. Here we go. First edition, Stardust Overdrive, and Hobby Strike of Neos packs. Pretty awesome. Now, why not get some Force of the Breaker? Get our Force of the Breaker on. These special editions are always super fun to open. <laughs> Except, like I said, we're going to keep that IOC pack for a later opening. Make sure you stay tuned for that. But Force of the Breaker. We've already pulled an unlimited Harpy Queen out of here, Ultimate Rare. Still have that in my collection. My collection. Ugh. But some of these Force of the Breakers, again, also for sale. Hit me up if you're interested. Alright, Master of Abedias. Crystal Blessing. Hopefully we get a Crystal Blessing in this pack. Ooh, look at that hard-selling zombie. That is gross. Gravy Crush Dragon. And, ooh, is it a hollow? Ah, Gogo the Gallant Ninja. Unfortunately, no hollow there. Force of the Breaker, you're letting us down. You're letting us down. There is going to be a pretty epic GX opening coming up on the channel soon, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss out. Force of the Breaker. Let's go. Last Resort. Crystal Beast, Amber Mammoth, <laughs> his voice actor in the uh, English dub. He sounds like uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's hilarious. Ooh, and we do have a holo here. There we go. Radiant Mirror Force from Force of the Breaker. That holo looks pretty cool for a super. Nice. Okay, and we're back for the bajillionth time trying to record this video. Freaking GoPro cut out on me. I don't even know what, like, what it is. Sometimes it just overheats after five minutes. Sometimes it can record an hour of content. I, I, I have no idea. $400 GoPro though. You're doing great. Um, okay, what do we open now? You know what? Let's get this Utopia value box open. Here we go. Strip it of its very sticky contents. If you guys seen these open before, you know what I'm talking about. We have our first edition, or sorry, not first edition, <laughs> absolute power force pack. Okay, let's see if we can not make a mess here or knock over any of the cameras. All right, packs have been removed. Like I said, a little sticky, so can't really, can't really put them down on the, uh, on the mat here. We're gonna start off with this first edition hidden arsenal two pack. I'm really hoping for that cover card right there. That little kitty. I keep looking over here at my uh, my face cam. <laughs> I'm not very confident in it. Again, huge shout out to Go GoPro. Not sponsored, <laughs> as you may as you may have been able to tell. Ally Mind. Hidden Arsenal Two. I love Hidden Arsenal Two just because it does have those smaller pictures, so it's still nostalgic to me. So some really cool cards in here. And is it white? No, it is not. It is a Worm Queen. I don't think we've pulled that yet. Alrighty. Get those HAO2s out of there. Oh yeah, and speak of the number two. 2K special coming up. This bad boy right here is going to be cracked on the channel. And after this, there's also going to be a box break of Crossroads of Chaos. Meaning, you'll be able to buy packs to get opened on the channel in an upcoming video. So hit me up on Instagram if you're interested in that. Uh, it should be possibly in a couple weeks, so stay tuned for that. Stay tuned. Again, it has to be after the 2K special, so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. <laughs> Don't want to sound too aggressive, but uh, I will find you. <laughs> hit that subscribe button. All right, here we go. Absolute Power Force. We also have some first edition boxes of those coming up, so make sure you stay tuned. Hopefully, hopefully pull something crazy. Absolute Power Force. This is one of the upper deck entertainment printing, one of the earlier printings of 5D's Jack Atlas Pack. Jack it up. Jack Packs. Jack Packs have never been too kind to me, unfortunately. Just a rare there. 
All right, I keep trying to think which, what are the next sets that we should open? You know what? I think it's time. I think it's time to open Raging Battle to match our little mat here. Is there a little, is there a tab to open this? No, I don't think there is. To match our sneak peek mat here, the Raging Battle Special Edition. And as previously mentioned in my last video, there is a rumor going around the Yu-Gi-Oh! community that one of the promo cards that you can receive in this is kind of like a misprint, a mispackage, error. It should only come with a Dark Creator or a Lure of Darkness, but there is a chance that you can pull, and we didn't pull it already, as you can see, we, we already spoiled it, that you can pull a Vice Dragon that was supposed to be printed in, dual, in a dual disc, I think. I think the, uh, the code is even possibly different. I think it might be DDY, but here we go. Allure of Darkness. It's actually a pretty cool super rare, pretty valuable promo. So we'll take it. But now, Raging Battle. If you may have seen the uh, the last opening we did, we, we did pretty good in one special edition. Spoiler alert, we pulled two ultimate rares in back-to-back -back packs. So, whoops, just dropped something there. <laughs> Can we do it again, imagine? Or two secret rares? Or two, dare I say, ghost rares. Imagine, Psychic Path. Proof of the Powerlessness. Minoan Centaur. Deep Sea Diva, used to be a better rare than it is now. Rose Tentacles. And Fake Feather Mind Trust. Not the greatest pack for Raging Battle. But if I'm not mistaken, I believe, I believe the first pack of the all ultimate rare or two out of three ultimate rare pack came with just a rare so we'll see we'll see if we can step it up here with another ulti alien dog attack of the cornered react and oh, oh my goodness are you kidding me this is actually crazy Raging Battle has given us some ragingly great pulls recently. Our third ultimate rare in two special editions opened. This is absolutely nuts. I really hope the face cam's recording because to me, the feedback's looking really glitchy right now. One for one is actually a really good rare as well. So this was a godly pack. Are you kidding me, Raging Battle? And look at the foiling on that. Unlimited 5Ds. Most 5Ds, even some of the first edition stuff, they they definitely start to get the foiling right. Look at the clouds in the background there, guys. That is beautiful. Forbidden Chalice. Unreal. Let's go. Another ultimate rare from Raging Battle. And this one right here, yeah, she ain't too cheap either. She's uh, one of the more expensive ultimate rares. So there we go. Our biggest pull of the day. Opening the back-to-back uh, -back Raging Battles seems to be seems to be pretty good. Seems to work in our favor, so... Dare I say, can we do it again? Back-to-back -back Ultimate Rare Pulls from Raging Battle? There's only one way to find out. Reckoned Power. Master Gig. Natural Tune. And... Ah, Kawaki Miru Doom. No Ultimate Rare there. Unless it pulled a fast one on me and... They, uh, they started coming after the rare. You never know with their 5Ds printing. You guys know all about that. Fun, oh, super funny. Somebody pointed out in the last opening. I was mentioning something about 5Ds printing as I get open this Twilight Edition. And I was mentioning something how it was really funny how the people who packaged 5Ds stuff were on some, uh, let's just say on the Devil's Lettuce when they were packaging it. And when I made that motion, I made the hand motion, the time, the time stamp was actually exactly 420. Right on the dot, 420, absolutely hysterical. So, <laughs> huge shout out to, uh, I think his name's Orlanbro for pointing that out, hilarious. Here we go though, honest, very awesome, ultra rare promo card. Again, a very nice promo. And of course, our Epic GX packs. Now, now the question is, boys and girls, do we open the Shining Darkness pack before we get into GX? 
It's first edition. I don't know, man. I don't know. Phantom Darkness and Shining Darkness back to back. Let's do it. Let's go Phantom Darkness first and Shining Darkness next. Funny, actually, the only pack we're opening today that doesn't have Ghost Rares in it. That Strike of Neos right there, as you see. Let's move everything over a little bit so you can see Power Tool a little bit better. Oh no, this pack's sticking to my hand. Gotta be careful out there. Let's see if we can pull that Rainbow Neos here. That would be unreal to pull one of the Ghost Rares from these GX sets. That's my goal. As you can see, I've opened quite a few of them. So let's see. Ooh, let's, see. let's see if we can complete that goal today. Armored Cyburn. Dogs are gonna go crazy. Someone just got home. Yep. There they go. Samsara Lotus. Call of the Earthbound. And do we have something? An ultra rare Dark Nephitus. That is not too bad. Very cool ultimate rare. Very awesome card. So, oh, whoops, got two sleeves there by accident. We'll take it. An ultra rare. Come on, let's step it up. Let's pull. Let's pull an ulti. Let's pull a freaking ghost from those packs. Come on. All right, now, now on to uh, 5D's darkness. The shining darkness. Some crow magic here. Let's see if we can pull an unreal black wing dragon or any black wing card. Ultimate rare. I take that. The Shining Darkness. Again, first edition packs. It's, <laughs> the pack was literally all over my finger. I was trying to get it off. It was like, not happening. Ronin Toten. We've actually pulled this in back-to-back -back packs now. This is, I think it's like a $10 common. Very, very cool. It's actually gone up a little bit more recently. Ronin Toten. Definitely keeping that guy aside. Blackwing Bombardment. A Worm Call. Infernity Beetle, and unfortunately, just a rare pack there. But we did get a Ronin Toten, so you can't complain about that. Alright, Star Strike Blast, two Strike of Neos, two Stardust Overdrive. What do we do next? I guess, do we have to go for one Strike and We have to, I guess, go for one Strike of Neos because there's two of them? I don't know, we'll see, man. It's two hobby packs, so let's see if we can get our game on here. Umbral Soul. Come on, Elemental Hero and Air Neos. Ultimate Rare, guys. Come on. Believe it and it will happen. Change of Hero. Marion and Might. Lycanthrope. Spiral Serpent. And a Great Shogun Shien. Alright, so we did get a Super. Unfortunately, not a Ultimate Rare. That is another really cool ultimate rare that you can get in the set, though. Great Shogun's Great Shogun Chien, along with many other great six Sam cards. All right, here we go. Few packs left here. Tactical Evolution, guys. Let's do it. Tactical Evolution. European European print Tactical Evolution packs. Let us see if we can pull that Rainbow Dragon Ghost Rare. Here we go. Cocoon Party. Gift of Greed. <laughs> Calvin, check that out. A little inside joke there. <laughs> Cocoon Rebirth. Google Golem. Phantom Dragon Ray Bronto. And ah, an Ojama Knight. Thought for a second that might have been a ultimate rare E-Hero for a second. Dark Bright, possibly. Alright guys. We're gonna we're gonna do something pretty big here, and we're gonna jump right into a first edition Stardust Overdrive pack. I know I might be crazy. I know they're super crazy valuable, but we're gonna do it here. See if we can pull one of these Unreal Secret Rare Fairies like Guardian Yatos or Arc Lord Christia. Or dare I say an Ultimate Rare Majestic Star Dragon. We're also going to be doing another box break of these, Brock's-ish break of these guys. I'll talk a little bit more about that after I open this pack. Ground Spider. Savage Coliseum. Tuned Magician. I do not think it is a hollow. Fortunately, the Earth and Earthbound Wave. No hollow there. But yes, like I said, I'm going to be doing a box break of those Stardust Overdrives again. Hit me up if you're interested. The prices have uh, gone up a little bit since last time. Just $5 more per pack, but there is no limit. No limit on how many packs you can get. So if you're interested, hit me up in the DMs 
on Instagram. And uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully you pull something epic. Here we go. Light of Destruction. Demise of the Land. Pretty cool common. Light of Destruction. Can we pull that Honest or Fossil Dina Fatula Follow? Those are the two pull cards I'm looking for. Light Barrier and, unfortunately, just an Arcana Force 1, the Magician. So, not the greatest Twilight Edition. I guess... Oh, man, it's tough. And you know what? I'm gonna go with... I'm gonna go with a Star Strike Blast. I'm gonna go with a first edition Star Strike Blast pack here. One of my favorite packs. Shooting Star Dragon being the Ghost Rare. I've actually pulled the ultimate rare Shooting Star out of here. Oh, Super Bendy. As per usual. We've actually got some pretty good pulls out of here, so... Hoping for more of the same. Come on, can we pull an ulti? Star Siphon. Rescue Warrior. Attack Gainer. Ally Salvo. And, unfortunately, just a rare pack. A bendy, bendy rare pack, that's for sure. Strike of Neos. Stardust Overdrive. Get your game on. Let's rev it up. We're gonna go with Strike of Neos pack first. Let's see if we can pull one of those hobby ultimate rares, guys. Come on, even a super rare. But I'd take the ultra. <laughs> I would take an ultra ultimate rare. Marionette Might. Here we go. Come on. Smash like last pack magic. Ultimate rare. Shan's Foot Soldier. Ferrostosaurus. And it is a Kahlo, but unfortunately, it is just a birthright. Birthright. Uh, pulled this so many times. That's uh, not the greatest card. Definitely not one I'd want to pull in ultimate rare. But we're here, guys. The time's come. I know it's a little bit shorter of an opening, but hopefully just as epic. If you enjoyed, smash that like button. Right after we pull this Ghost Rare Majestic Star Dragon. It's going to give you even more of a reason to. But, like I said, we're also going to be opening up that Crossroads of Chaos at 2,000 subscribers. So hit that subscribe button to get us there quicker. Wolf in Sheep's Clothing. Here we go. Last Pack Magic. Reptilian Medusa. Let's go from the back here. Spider Egg. Swap Frog. Another good common. Gemini Spark. Is it a hollow? It looks like a hollow, guys. <sighs> Guess in the comments below. <sighs> it's a white card, guys. I'm I'm starting to shake. Oh my goodness. The last pack magic, it is a white card. Victoria Medusa, and a Majestic Star Dragon! Are you kidding me? But this is also an ultra rare. Toe and I joined the club. I got so close. I saw that 3800 and I almost lost it. Majestic Star Dragon, but just the ultra rare last pack magic. We'll take it. Even in ultra rare first edition, it's absolutely beautiful. Very, very nice condition, too. Ooh, look at that. Beauty. Love that. Love the mintiness of these cards. But dang, we were so close, guys. We were so close to pulling that ghost. <laughs> but that was pretty awesome. That was a pretty awesome opening. Nonetheless, we're going to wrap it up here for a little recap. A couple notable comments here. Ronin Toten and Swap Frog. A couple, uh, couple frogs. Great Shogun Shien, Radiant Mirror Force, and our ultra-rare Dark Nephitus. We can't forget about the cover card, Bo. He pulled it! Majestic Star Dragon, but it's not the ultimate or the ghost rare, unfortunately. That's crazy how we both pulled one, me and Tone. But the highlight of the day definitely has to be the ultimate rare Forbidden Chalice. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, even though it may have been a little bit of a shorter one. But stay tuned until next time. Peace. Oh!